Hello, everyone. It's Charlton. Please subscribe to my channel. Tap the notification bell. I'd appreciate it majorly. Okay, the theory. Theory, Trump, Hillary. Fixed 2016 election. Hillary lost the election on purpose. That's the theory. And believe me, this is no joke. You know, you guys aren't, aren't doing too good. Okay, and I'm, I'm talking about the guys on YouTube and all your silly little stuff. Whatever, dude. You know, I mean, I'd be pissed if I was Trump. I'd be really pissed, you know, big time. But I'm not Trump, so I'm doing pretty good, all right? So, um, but I'm here to talk about Rudy pretty much, but I wanted to go back to this Lev Parnas interview with Ra Rachel Maddow and just a portion of it that I sort of, I sort of missed. I was, I, and it's about what he said about a particular person, you know, it's Lanny Davis, okay, longtime friend of Hillary and Bill Clinton, all right? I mean, that's how the Washington Post puts him. I think it's 1990, 1996 to 98, or 1994 to 96. I think it's 96 to 98, maybe not. He was the lead counsel for Bill Clinton during the impeachment time, okay? And, you know, it says in March, this is the Washington Post article that's referred to at the end of this, all right? In March, Giuliani used the allegation about Furtash to take a swipe at Lanny Davis, a longtime friend of Bill and Hillary Clinton, who then served as a lawyer for both the Ukrainian gas mogul, Furtash, and Trump's former personal counsel, Michael Cohen. I assume that, you know, that that Giuliani's claim is that he was saying this to, you know, to, to, um, discredit Michael Cohen and so forth. It wouldn't be that he would, this is two months before he himself would be meeting with a, a, a business associate, an executive from one of Furtash's, uh, companies. It wouldn't be that he was laying this out so that he has plausible deni deniability that he wasn't, wasn't working with, with, you know, Furtash and basically Lanny Davis, because that's what's stated here. That's where they were getting some of their information was from Lanny Davis. According to Lev Parnas, Lanny Davis was the one who gave John Solomon, you know, he had, he could give him this, this, uh, this dirt on, on, um, Andrew Weissman, which was supposedly Mueller's pit bull, and that, you know, maybe he was doing something illegal or breaking the law in his investigation and that would blow up the Mueller investigation. That was supposedly coming from, that was being given to John, according to Lev Parnas, to John Solomon by Lanny Davis. This is, um, this is February 27th. Michael Cohen testifying before the Senate where he, you know, said all sorts of bad things about Trump and said he was coming clean and all this other stuff, even though he was, his, his thing was done. You know, he was going to be doing time no matter what, but he came before, I don't know if it's the Senate or the House, who cares, to testify against Trump and say all these things against Trump and that he's now against Trump. The sole, I'm, what I'm telling you is the sole purpose of this testimony, sole purpose of this testimony is to give Giuliani the opportunity, you know, two weeks later to do to do this on Hill TV, John Solomon's baby, okay, and trash, fur tash, and more importantly, Lanny Davis, because because they knew he'd be meeting fur tash, so an associate of fur tash in another uh, in another month or so, another two months. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you that's exactly how this lays out, and it's not. It's 100. percent you know, 100%. It's, 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 it's just, it is. It's not a theory anymore. It's real. It's totally real and you know it. You all know it. And it's coming. It's coming. Okay. But they, 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 literally this testimony where he went up and says, I'm coming clean and you don't know and all this other stuff. It's all baloney. It was all making a fool of all of America, of all of us. And all of making a fool of those senators, congressmen. Making, they're all making fools of us. They're all traitors to us. Totally, these people are horrendous, okay? But the, the sole purpose of this was so that Giuliani could go, give him the opportunity to trash his lawyer, because lawyer, he knew in the, he'd, be wor he'd be working in just a couple months with his lawyer's boss, and it would look like he's working with, with, with the other side, with the Clinton side, because they are! 
okay? And they had to give him some opportunity to trash him so that, you know, when he was working with Fertash's executive doing what he was doing, I'm telling you, that's exactly how this lays out. No doubt about it, okay? One month before that, or two months before that testimony, this is the John Solomon piece about, you know, about Giuliani. Uh, Giuliani, Giuliani has unmistakable New Year's message for special counsel Robert Mueller. It is time for the chief investigator in the Russia case to be investigated in 2019. In wide-ranging interview with Hill TV, Buck Saxon, and me, on Wednesday and Thursday, me is Solomon, President Trump's defense lawyer pointedly accused Mueller's office of destroying evidence by allowing text messages from now-fired FBI official Peter Strzok and his FBI lo uh, lover, Lisa Page to be erased in the in the in the Russia probe. Is this is this is this supposedly what Lanny Davis could give uh, could give you know the Trump team on you know on Mueller's uh, pit bull Andrew Weissman? That's what it sounds like. You know that that supposedly Lanny Davis could give this John Solomon. That's this is December two thousand eighteen, two months before you know two months before Cohen testifies, and again. 100%, he testified for the sole purpose just to give Giuliani an opportunity to trash him and his lawyer, more importantly, Lanny Davis, because he'd be meeting with Lanny Davis's other boss, Furtash, you know, if, in, in two months. Totally. And over here, in, in another matter, she's pointing to this, and this is what I'm replaying right now, that, you know, I'll play it for you. Because I missed it around the first time. I focused on the ledger. I didn't. I didn't. I missed what she uh, was saying about the the first part. This part, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what that 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 red was. I'm like, I'm not sure what that that is. Slow chefsk. Slow chefsk. So she says. Basically, it could get taken care of. That. Uh, that was your offer to Mr. Fairfax, that we can get this prosecution of you dropped. Your extradition to fear to for us to be able to, it was basically telling him that worthless reason it's a, it's a, that, and that basically it could get this information. Sorry. That line is not in there. That was uh, they were getting a million dollars plus a hundred thousand dollars a month okay. on, uh, uh, expenses, and uh -huh. mine was two hundred thousand. And what is this here? What's that next line? Uh, is that the founder of Burisma? Zlochevsky is a Ukraine ledger and the Ukraine ledger. See, so yeah, Zlochevsky and uh, Burisma. And or, what are you supposed to be getting from about Burisma and the Ukraine ledger from this, from Lenny Davis and Mr. Fiertas? Well, supposedly John Solomon said that the, he, there was stuff in the fictitious case about that. Uh huh. So, so John Solomon said that Lanny Davis could give them information on Burisma. Burisma is Burisma is uh, Slochevsky, which is Burisma. Uh, um, you know, Slochevsky is the founder of Burisma, uh, is, is Hunter Biden, Joe Biden, you know, so Lanny Davis is, help. Lanny Davis, a longtime friend of Bill and Hillary Clinton, is giving information to the Trump people about Hunter Biden and Burisma, he can, he can do that, you know, that's strange, and he's representing Michael Cohen, uh, Trump's former counsel, who supposedly is against Trump at this point, who supposedly is, you know, has, has said, you know, he was wrong, and, uh, you know, and, 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 and Trump's this, and Trump's a liar, but his own attorney is willing to give information to, uh, to the Trump people a long time. It's, 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 it's so crazy, dude. It's so obvious. And one other thing I wanted to mention, because in this, in this Washington Post piece, basically, you know, Giuliani um, deflects and says, you know, and tries to say that he dealt with, he spoke with a Chicago-based Chicago attorney. A Chicago-based attorney that, you know, is working with Furtash. He doesn't name him, though. But Bondi, who has been urging Congress to call his client a witness, call his client as a witness, said Parnas would be, pre be prepared to describe Giuliani's outreach to Furtash. Good. You know, and this, this attorney he's talking about, you know, I don't know why he doesn't bother just come out and naming it. I spoke this week, Giuliani said, about, you know, with a with a Chicago-based attorney who is handling Furtash's case, Furtash's federal case, to see if he had any evidence of corruption. There were three 
uh, in of uh, in Ukraine in 2016. There were three American attorneys, you know, or three three persons that were part of his legal team going dating back to 2014. All right, one of them was Lanny Davis. All right. Another one was Michael Chertoff, the former uh, head of Homeland Security under Bush. And a third was a former U.S. attorney out of Chicago named Daniel Wett. All right. And, you know, a couple things before I just wrap this up. I, I mean, I, you, I, do not find, I do not think it's a coincidence that Daniel Webb is also the person who was named to be the special special prosecutor to look into, you know, the attorney, um, the attorney general, not the attorney general, the district attorney in Chicago that dropped the case against Jussie Smollett or whatever his name is. You know, the, the supposedly the, the fake hoax, you know, who he claims, he still claims he was set up and nobody believes him. Okay. This thing, this thing, when, when Jesse, I'm going to, I'm not going to go on and on with this. Nobody believes me, but I'm telling you right now, if somebody took a gun and put it right to my head and said, you have to tell me. Yes or no, was Jussie Smollett, you know, set up? And I, if I had to give you an answer with a gun to my head, I, I would say yes, he was set up. He was set up. I, I do believe it, you know, even though I chickened out before and I let you people in the comments, you know, convince me that I was sounding silly because it does sound silly. But this thing was so perfect for Trump, so perfect. You know, it was so orchestrated that some black guy would, fa would fake being attacked by two other black guys and claim they were white guys and say that they said MAGA country. I mean, who would be that stupid? No, he because he didn't do it, and he was set up. So, But the funny thing is, is that the special prosecutor, the person who's been named as special prosecutor by Michael Tubin, who I assume is a you know probably a pro-Trump uh, judge. I don't even have it up here in time to, uh, to prove my point. The guy who was named to be the press, press special prosecutor was Daniel Webb. One of three persons that are a part of Furtash's legal team since 2014. You tell me that's a, a coincidence. And who do you think the Chicago-based attorney was that's part of his legal team that Rudy Giuliani talked to? Of course he didn't talk to Lanny Davis. No, of course not. No, that's no. If he was, I mean, he he trashes Lanny Davis and, and Furtash two months before he's going to meet a Furtash executive. It's such a joke. It's all a setup, and they're all in on it, all of them, including the people in jail. You know, what do you, I mean, that's, I'm sorry, but that's a small price to pay for the millions, hundreds of millions of dollars that, you know, you and your family members are making, and many, many others are making, and that your family will be set for generations to come. Justice Small investigation, judge orders Google to turn over a full year of actors' data as part of a uh, special prosecutor probe. Special Prosecutor Probe. Who's that? Right there, dude. All right. Top sweeping search. Uh, two sweeping search warrants obtained by Chicago Tribune provide the first public glimpse into the direction of the probe by Special Prosecutor Dan Webb more than four months into the investigations, the investigation of Jesse Smollett and the whole thing. Okay. Furtash has insisted the charges are politically motivated, a part of an American effort to keep him out of Ukrainian politics. Since he was released on bail in Vienna in 2014 after paying a bond of $174 million, $74 million, Furtash hired a formidable team of lawyers to stop his extradition from Vienna to Chicago. Among them is Michael Chertoff, the former U.S. Secretary of Homeland Security, as well as uh, as well as a former Austrian justice minister, perhaps the most outspoken member of the legal team, perhaps the most out, outspoken member of the legal team has been Lanny Davis, the former counsel to, 
to President Bill Clinton. Over the last five years, his team managed to sh slow the extradition process, but, it, but could not stop it. The case appeared to come to a head in early June when Furtash's chief attorney in Chicago, Dan Webb, filed a motion warning that his client could be extradited, extradited in a matter of weeks. This is from 2015 or something. October 2015. That legal team was replaced by the Geneva and Tunsing in July. Lanny Davis worked for him all the way, I assume the other two, all the way up till July 2019 when DeGeneva and Tunsing took over. Michael Chertoff, his, his uh, firm, which is here, Chertoff Group, you know, nothing major connections there. Although, this woman here, Samantha Ravitch, is a well-known, this is from the uh, Jewish Telegraphic Agency. It's a very small outlet, something like that. Samantha Ravitch is well known in pro-Israeli, pro-Israel national security community. She was named to the board, which is which helps shape intelligence policy on Tuesday. On Tuesday, when was this dated? This was August 2018. This, uh, that's you know, I mean, that's this. This started in early 2018. She's just she's an advisor for them, you know, Ravitch for for Chertoff. Ravitch is a, a, a former a former de, former deputy national security advisor to Vice President Dick Cheney is a senior advisor to the Foundation of Defense for D Democracies, an influential hawkish pro-Israeli think tank. She's a senior advisor to the Chertoff Group, founded by Michael Chertoff, working for Furtash. Who's working for Furtash? She's not. He is, though. A Homeland Security Secretary in, in the George Bush administration. She has worked with Washington Institute, so she was hired in, in 2018. I don't know when for Chur Chur Chertoff stopped working for, you know, Furtash. Lanny Davis was working for him all the way up till July 2019. Whenever, whenever, whenever Trump's in, in trouble, believe it. You can you can tell you you can you can believe that he always he'll he'll do something he'll do something nice for Israel, and I don't care. I, I don't care. I mean, these things don't make any difference to me. Okay, you know, believe me. And uh, the sooner Trump is, this is this is all this is all comes to an end. Okay, the sooner Trump is is found out for what I'm telling you, and you know it's true, the better it is for Israel, and that's just fine by me. And that's the truth. And that's the story there, man. Thanks for watching my videos. It's a mess. I'll edit it as best as I can. That's life. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man. Later, man.